Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's Bird video. We're going to have a look at the weather for 10 to 14 days for today's Bird video. Day 10 will take us to the 21st of April and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SOGFS and ECM ensembles. They run for a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That will get us into early May. Now we haven't had an update up to this point, so just gone uh, half past 2, 2.30, coming up to uh, 20 to 3 in the afternoon. Um, we haven't had an update for today from the CFS V2 uh, week clears. However, as I did do a 10 to 14 day yesterday, I can show you those charts today. Um, but just bear in mind, they are actually out of date and they're from yesterday's update because there hasn't been an update so far. Uh, at, uh, at the uh, NCEP, uh, CPC, and uh, NOAA website. Um, so I'll get on with your 10 14 day in a moment. Just say that first, a video saying was 6 a.m. upload. There's a bit of a story behind that as well. If anybody's around the channel early enough, they will have seen that I very <laughs> accidentally uploaded um, yesterday's uh, UK weather. <laughs> Oh, God. I don't know how it happened. I did record the, uh, the UK weather forecast for today, yesterday evening. Somehow or other, there was a mix-up when I uploaded. And so, <laughs> an erroneous forecast was released on the channel um, this morning. But uh, after I realised the error, I uh, deleted that and I, you know, uploaded the correct video. So, uh, the UK weather forecast on the channel now is today's UK weather forecast. Um, we've also released the EC 30 day forecast as well. So, for the UK and Europe, please check out those two if you'd like to do that. Like, share, subscribe on the vid. Thanks so much, everybody. Uh, for doing that, right, let's start the video then. We're going to have a look at the search and temperature CT. It's currently sitting at 8.4, which is half a degree above 61 by 90 average. That is provisional to yesterday to the 10th of April. So for the first 10 days of month, just a little bit above average for 61 to 90, 90 year of normal for the more modern averages. And uh, that's probably going to edge down, actually, over the next few days. We are in quite, in quite a cool pattern at the moment. It will, though, I suspect, pick up next week. Reason is this. These are a GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. The red line is a 30-year upper air temperature average for Birmingham, starting off with average or below average temperatures through the rest of this week. However, through the weekend and into next week, those upper air temperatures are lifting up and it looks like it's going to become quite mild or maybe even warm, actually, as we go through next week. I reckon the first 20, 21 degree temperatures of the year are possible uh, next week. 21, of course, is the magical 70 Fahrenheit mark, so that will be noteworthy. Not just though, the last week of April uh, will have a bit of a cool down, although just how much it cools down. Uh, remains to be seen. Precipitation wise, there is going to be uh, plenty of uh, wet weather to come through the rest of this week. Further spells of rain are on the way, uh, starting today, <laughs> of course. Um, next week looks drier though, so as it turns warmer, it also turns drier. Um, that looks like a nice window of weather, doesn't it? Drier and warmer through the third week of April. Possibly back to something a little bit more unsettled again through the final week of month. Of course, that does coincide with that little bit of a cool down. Temperature anomalies from the 11th to the 19th of April going to be average to a little bit below average down in the south. Perhaps a little bit above average in the north. Not a particularly big deviation anywhere, though. And precipitation anomalies from the 11th to 19th of April. A little bit wetter than average from the north, near a normal of the south. Again, not a particularly big deviation anywhere. Races wind from that from Earth, no school dot net. So we've got a developing area of low pressure in the Atlantic and an active weather front coming across the country today. So plenty of wind and rain, gale force winds, severe gales even. Some places heavy rain uh, and possibly even some snow over high ground for Scotland. In the next 24 hours, it's going to be a wild spell of weather. Okay, let's look at chart data. <laughs> this is our latest UK at your run. It's looking midnight on Friday. Low pressure will be coming in off the Atlantic and uh, bringing wet weather into the south. Now, that low pressure will clear away through the weekend and then the high pressure will take over to our south and east. A large area of high pressure building then through the early part of next week, bringing lots of dry and uh, potentially uh, warm weather with it. So that, that looks uh, really quite 
uh, quite nice, you know. It'll be mainly dry. It should be plenty of sunshine. Wind coming from the southeast throughout the continent. So it should be quite warm as well. If the UK bet your Euro run is right, I reckon that will get temperature to around 20 degrees for the first time this year, early next week. Icon again, check out low pressure coming in from the Atlantic on Friday. That bring outbreaks of rain into the south, and high pressure will build over and to the north and uh, northeast country through weekend and into next week. Now, Icon has that high pressure further north as a proper Scandinavian high and brings in a proper easterly. If you follow the isomars back, you can see that the air is originating from uh, Russia here, pushing in across uh, much of northern Europe. Now, of course, easy winds in April are not going to be cold like they are in uh, January. So if that setup occurred in uh, on the 18th of January, rather than the 18th of April, then that will bring, be uh, cold. It will bring snow showers in from the east. It's April, so it's not going to be that cold, but it will be uh, significantly cooler that if it comes off compared to the UK Met run. You can see the difference. The UK Met bring in this slack, warm, south easy flow. Icon bringing quite a strong and potentially quite chilly easterly flow. Um, that will drag in quite a cloud, probably showers into the south and southeast, and temperatures would be significantly cooler. Certainly no 20 degrees with that, um, if, uh, if if that was to uh, verify. Uh, right, so as ever, with high pressure, devil is always in the detail. Right, the uh, GFS midnight run. Again, bring that low pressure in from off the Atlantic. That brings outbreaks of rain into the south on Friday. Then the train through weekend into next week. It's built high pressure over to the eastern country. Much more in line for UK Met with GFS. High pressure not as far north, nowhere near as much of an easterly. So that looks mostly dry and potentially quite warm as we go through the early part of next week with the GFS Midnight Run. Heading up toward day 10, just signs of lower pressure beginning to edge in from the southwest, but even up to that point, still mostly dry, I think, and uh, I have the wind coming up from southeast, so it should still be pretty warm as well. Beyond that, the Midnight Run then tries to build high pressure around Greenland and has a go at putting down some colder air from the north by the very end of, uh, of the run, which gets to the 27th of April. That's a long way off. Uh, GFS 6Z, again, with that low pressure in across the south, outbreaks of rain beyond that high pressure building over and to the east of the country, bringing a lot of dry and also warm weather through the early to middle part of next week. High pressure uh, carries on dominating weather all the way out toward day 10, really, just right at the very, very end of GFS uh, 6 there, but starts bringing perhaps something of a cooler, showering, northwesterly type blow. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. So thank you so very much, everyone, for doing that. Another 80 subscribers, there or thereabouts, will get us to um, to 15.8K. So if you could give us a sub and tell your friends and family to subscribe, that'd be absolutely fantastic. We're getting ever closer to 16,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. Right, GM, again, that low pressure, bring more wet weather to the south on Friday over the weekend into next week. High pressure builds over... And to the east coast, so it's mostly dry and warm with winds coming in from a southeasterly direction. Uh, by day 10, just signs of lower pressure developing in the Atlantic, but still warm and main dry with a southerly southeasterly flow up to that point. And then ECM WF once more with low pressure being wet weather into the south on uh, Friday and through to Saturday. And then through the rest of the weekend, we find that high pressure building to our south and east, turning things drier and also warmer. However, the ECM is more like um, Icon, actually, with high pressure a little bit further north and more of an easterly flow. So eventually we start to bring in east easterly winds um, from uh, Russia and those easterly is, you know, they could bring in some cool air. They won't be cold, it won't be like January, it won't be beast from the east but if we do pick up this sort of long fetch easterly then it will have a chill to it and it will probably drag in more cloud and possibly even a few showers as well. And then by the very end of the ECM run, low pressure starts pushing up from the south. That brings a return to wet weather into southern and western parts of the country. So not only is the ECM a little bit cooler through next week, though it's still mainly dry with that uh, long fetch EC, it does eventually turn unsettled by day 10. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tibet Show. 
not fun. Got a bit of a deluge to come over the uh, next day or so. Plenty of wind and rain on the way. Um, a bit of a dry down first. Even more wet weather in across the England of Wales Friday through to Saturday. After that, the trend is a drying one through the rest of the weekend and into uh, next week with those east winds. However, by day 10, we've got wet weather advancing back in from off the Atlantic once more. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. It gets us to the 21st of April. 19 members of the ECM Ensembles have high pressure around Scandinavia. Winds coming in from an easterly direction. And uh, low pressure just to the south southwest could be threatening wet weather into southern and western parts of the country. 16 with high pressure more towards Scotland. That should be main dry but could be picking up a bit of an easterly wind which Possibly has a bit of a chill to it. And then another 16 in line with sort of a GFS with this large ridge building through the north and the west of Europe. Should be a lot of dry and warm weather with that. In two in time, these are the options that we've got. It will get us to the 26th of April. 20 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure blocking over Scandinavia and reaching towards a uh, Greenland slash Canadian high. Uh, say it again. Canadian. Uh, my tongue isn't very good today. I'm not sure what's wrong with my speech today. I've not been on the magic wars to bow. Um, even though I uploaded the wrong video <laughs> this morning, I have not been on the magic wars. I've just got not got very good speech today for some reason. Um, anyway, 20 look like that. 17 <laughs> with a mid-Atlantic ridge going up to Canadian. With a mid-Atlantic ridge going up towards Greenland <laughs> and to chop of low pressure. Those Scandinavia winds will be coming in for a chilly northerly, northwesterly direction uh, with that. And then another 14 with a large area of high pressure right out of the country. And that will be mostly dry and warm. Range of options at both uh, day 10 and day 14 of course the devil is in the detail with where the high pressure is going to be because most of those options do involve uh, high pressure let's see if the CFS has updated for today no it has not it is still showing yesterday's update Monday the 10th of April not sure what the delay is with that but uh, as we did do a 10 to 14 day yesterday very helpfully, we can show you uh, yesterday's weekly. But bear in mind, these are like 24 hours out of date. CFS might update later on today with uh, with today's update, you know. So just keep in mind that these are uh, the charts are from yesterday. Uh, but as we didn't show them, in, because we didn't do a 10, 14 day yesterday, uh, we can show you these. So um, week one will be the 10th of the 16th of April with uh, low pressure in from off the Atlantic. Coming week looks quite unsettled. Week two, huge change. It's the 17th to 23rd of April. As high pressure takes over and brings mostly dry and warm weather with it. Week 3 <laughs> will be the 24th uh, to the 30th of April. And uh, the high pressure begins to weaken and breaks, really, into various... Um, pieces with low pressure starting to return from the Atlantic. So that's probably like a transitional sort of period, starting mostly dry, maintaining more unsettled. And then week four is the first to the seventh of May. High pressure back in control then, sitting just to the western and northwest country, bringing wind from off the Atlantic, so looking quite unsettled uh, by the fourth week, the first week of May. However, it is four weeks away, so I don't think we need to worry too much about that. And we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please thank you. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Webbies. Ask them to subscribe to. And we thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. Ding the bell as well. And you'll be notified when we release all of our content. Thanks so much, everyone. Right, just so coming up tomorrow, we're going to have the uh, 6 a.m. UK web for Gals. I will make sure that I upload the <laughs> correct video uh, for that one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have the uh, we'll have the XUSA forecast, and there'll be a ten to fourteen day video coming up for you tomorrow as well. You enjoy the rest of this uh, wet and windy Tuesday. Try and stay dry, and uh, for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.